Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Mustang Challenge. As you can see, I'm typing up there. I plan on pulling to the side. This is the first time I've taken part in uh, this series, so I'm just going to kind of stay out of the way. And uh, My voice chat won't work, so I can't chat with people via voice. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm just going to stay out of the way. Uh, and we're going to have a good time. Line up behind the three. I didn't check, but apparently this is a rolling start. Which is fine. No big deal. As we saw during the uh, two hours at Sebring, I'm not used to rolling starts on road courses. I'm not used to much on road courses really, but that's kind of irrelevant. I'm hoping to learn. Maybe with the Mustang Challenge. Like I said, I've never raced in the Mustang Challenge before, and uh, hopefully, this is a good enough experience. My last race, the guy on the front row spun out on the pace lap. Not a hundred percent sure what to expect because, uh, well, again, this is my first race, my first Mustang challenge, at least. So we'll see, but hopefully, I survive. All right, looks like you're gonna be lining up behind the five. I'm not even sure I'm gonna bother trying to go for position. Hey, uh, keep it in your lane, Wyndham. Behind the five. But nice big deep breath here, let's get ready to roll. I don't even want to get right, near that guy in a green Pace car. Off. Be ready. Line up behind the five. Green flag. Here we Hang go. There, my man. I got 20 left to go. Time to quit talking, I guess. That was uh, close to losing control. They're trying to wreck up here, Sylvan. Please repeat. Well, be careful. These guys are trying to wreck up here. It's my first race on Mustang.
Well, so far it's kind of interesting. One, it's uh, almost an edge of your six, seat sort five. of thing. in front, front. I don't know where to go. That kind of felt hairy there for a minute. Uh, skid march, but I didn't see anybody there. Go ahead, George, take the inside. You're an idiot. Got one in the dirt, coming back on. Twenty seven point eight four one. Oh, that's too bad. I know he was struggling a little bit, but he wasn't doing too bad. lap five and I feel kind of a sense of urgency. Hopefully that passes. starting to spread out.
got them screwing up too much. I'm trying to get in too much of a hurry, I think. One minute Falling 26. way behind. Point two. Six. Eight. Maybe I'm not falling behind. I mean, that time is not a bad time for me. Maybe these people are just that much faster than me. It's hard to say. First Mustang race, so... Wouldn't surprise me if they were just that much faster. What does surprise me is I made it seven laps without going off track or anything so far. Drogues turn right instead of left. Kind of wish I could turn voice chat off. I don't like really listening to it when I race, but my steering wheel controls have just got nothing. It's only with the Mustang Challenge. What's he going to the pits for already? Uh, my steering wheel controls don't do anything in the Mustang Challenge, and I don't know why. They just don't do anything. Except looking one, left and right, and 20, I can look left and right fine. Four, one, but none of the other controls work. right there at the very least get an off track penalty oh there too I'm screwing up too much I gotta concentrate on racing and not talking turn out of the whole track. It's just so hard for me to judge it. This one's not the easiest either. Sometimes when you think you're going too fast, you slow down and you end up taking it too slow and falling behind. When you feel like you're going too slow, you speed up a little bit and you end up going off track.
God, the leader's already coming back around. Not sure if he's got enough time to lap me, but he might. I don't have anything special uh, as far as the setup goes. I've got a baseline setup that uh, obviously as you can see it's not doing me too well, but uh, it's pretty easy to drive which is what I like about it. It's a baseline setup that I got off the forums on, uh, I wish I could remember. It was the first race of the season, during the little the little forum post they made about the race. It was a setup I got off there at that time, and that's the one I've run all season. And while this is my first official race I've run all season, I have run, uh, like, mock races every week, whatever track the Mustang was at. I ran full length, uh, sometimes five times longer than full length. I'd spend the whole week practicing there. But uh, yeah, it's just the, the baseline from the forum for that. One minute, um, I was told back zero, then nine, that it wasn't four. really a, a setup that won the races. It was the driving that the Mustang was a pretty balanced car as far as setups go and it just depends on how good of a driver you are. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Obviously, you're driving over your limit. Which is one thing I really like about it. Because I'm not the best person with setups. I mean, I can uh, make a car a little easier to drive, maybe a little bit faster, but I'm no uh, setup wizard. So, running in a series that matters more about driver skill, even though I'm lacking in that department as well, is a lot more uh, attractive to me than uh, running in one that depends on setup alone. Which I'm not sure any of them technically depend on setup alone. I think there's a lot of skill involved in driving any of these cars. But it makes it so much better when a uh, killer setup doesn't give a, a person a, a terrible advantage. I mean, as far as the people that have those setups and make them, I mean, I got total respect for them. They do the work. They deserve the win. But... It's just nice knowing that the people in this particular race right now are just altogether better than me, drivers, which is why they're ahead of me. And not just better setup makers, which is why they're ahead of me, which I'm sure they're not all running the same baseline setup as me. Um, some of them probably have uh, many, many hours into their setup, which is helping them a little bit uh, cater to their driving style. But anyway, I think you uh, get the picture.
first two corners are tough. I think I got these these last few corners down pretty good. Four laps to go. I really don't think. One minute twenty-five point seven six three five more laps. Man. Five more time. Oh, too fast. I really don't think the leaders are gonna be able to catch me. Which it's not like they have to. They're already the leaders, duh. But uh, I really don't think they're gonna be able to lap me unless I do something really, really stupid. I think I got plenty of time to make those five laps. It's weird, we've already had the caution flag out once or twice. I'm so used to ovals where you get a caution, you get a pit for some tires. You know, or, or fuel or whatever. I mean, shoot, I don't even... Oh, jeez. I just realized I have no idea if I've got enough fuel. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of fuel. But I'm not used to this road racing where a caution is, is mainly like uh, mainly informational, you know, where, you know, I mean, I'm running ninth place right now out of 12 starters, which for me is just awesome being my first race, but uh, my tires are feeling a little squishy. But if I were to pit to get new tires, I would be able to drive a lot better, but it would probably put me at the very back of the field. Which I'm almost there now. I mean, I'm only fighting for one position. But I'd like to keep that one position because uh, the other guy appears to have dropped out of the race. Which I don't know why he didn't appear to be damaged or anything, but for one reason or another he didn't want to continue. Looks like I'm a pretty even match for this guy behind me though. Um, and I believe from the beginning of the race this is his first, thing, first Mustang race too, so... That's kind of awesome. One, Two noobs in here uh, three, racing. One, but, you know, he'll gain on me a little bit. And then I'll pull away from him. And then he'll gain on me a little more. And I'll pull away from him. It just seems like kind of a, a steady battle by 8 to 11 seconds. Two more. Let's go. Kind of here all by myself now. The, the closest person in front of me, 13.3 seconds. Closest behind, 10.9 seconds. So, if any mistakes are made now, like that one, whoo! Wow, there's only one person to blame, and that's uh, the retard behind the wheel. One minute twenty six 
Interested to know how far my wheels are, or my tires are wore down. White flag, nice and smooth. Boys and girls. <coughs> One minute twenty six point six two eight. I'm going to keep going because the leaders are just crossing the finishing line right now. So I got technically one more lap to go. Geez, that that's over. <laughs> she had one more lap, Ross, you would have got me. That looks like a pretty good race for second. Oh, 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 stay on the track. Yeah, it, it, it was starting to turn into one. I got a bit of a gift, fifth place there. I got taken out twice. Yeah, John, I heard you back there hollering about that. Take a flag. Oh, well, it happens. Yeah. All right, Fortunate. bud, that's it. It was a good run today. Hey, Jason, looks like you, uh, you ran your number in the first race in the Mustang. That's pretty good. No victory donuts, Wyndham? Well, we will uh, head back to the pits now. That that was awesome. I guess I could step on the gas a little harder. Get back to the pits a little sooner. I really want to see what my tires look like after that race. Oh, wow, that was fun. That was a lot of fun, guys. Um, anyway, thank you. Uh, if you're still here, 20 laps later, I hope you enjoyed. And um, I think I'm definitely going to be doing this in the future. We'll shut our engine off. No reason to have that run. Let's check out our tires. What? 100%? That doesn't make... A darn bit of sense. Maybe it's because the race is over. It's doing that. Anyway, guys, thank you a million for watching.
It's been a lot of fun. Ooh, 3.3 gallons remaining. Um, I think I'm definitely going to be doing this in the future. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe.